Hello, welcome to Temple Baptist Church, our devotional time today. We are going to be in the book of Hebrews. We're going to look at the first three verses of Hebrews chapter 12, and then we're going to drop down and look at verse 12 and 13 for just a, a, a little bit. Uh, again, glad to have you with us, and we pray that as we study God's Word or bring you just a little bit about it today, that it, it strengthens you and renews your uh, confidence in God. We brave the storms of life, so to speak. Uh, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which should easily ensnare us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down on the right hand of the throne of God. Now, going over to verse 12, Therefore, strengthen the hand which hangs down and the feeble knee. Make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. All right, we find back in history on the evening of April the 3rd, 1968, a fierce thunderstorm was uh, lashing out through Memphis, Tennessee. Weary and feeling ear, the re ill, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. hadn't intended to give his planned speech that night in support of the stri striking sanitation workers at a church hall, but he was surprised by an urgent phone call saying a large crowd had braved the storm and the weather to hear him, so he went to the hall, he gave his 40-minute speech, delivering what some say was his greatest speech, I've been on the mountaintop. Of course, if you know through history, the next day, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated by a bullet. But his speech still in, inspires oppressed people, all people, I think, really, with the hope of the promised land. And, you know, the, the earlier followers of Jesus, I find, were, uh, were uplifted by steering messages. The book of Hebrews, Hebrews uh, was written to encourage uh, Jewish believers face, facing threat for their faith in Jesus Christ. You know, uh, it offered firm spiritual encouragement to not lose hope as a as it urged. You know, strengthen there in verse twelve. Strengthen, therefore, strengthen the hand which hangs down and the feeble knee, as the Jews would recognize. And this is from uh, from Isaiah chapter thirty five and verse three basically says about the same thing, but now uh, as Christ's disciples, we are called to run with patience the race that is marked out for us, isn't it? Fixing our eyes on Jesus, on Jesus the pioneer and perfection of our faith. We, we need to do this so that we will not grow weary and lose heart. For consider him who endures such hostilities from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your soul. Let's don't do that. Let's don't come discouraged. Let's run with patience. The race is set before us. You know, certainly a lot of things can take place in life today. You know, the squalls, the storm. We don't know what awaits us in life. We just don't have any idea what that is. But Jesus will outlast life tempest by standing by him we can we can do that we can outlast all those things by jesus clinging on to us have you got jesus in your life today if not uh, brave you know storms are coming and we need to brave those storms through jesus christ our prayer is that you have jesus and uh, uh, he is part of your life you rely on him you trust him and every day, we invite you to come and be a part of our services here at Temple. Uh, we meet on Sunday mornings at 6, uh, at 8. No, I don't get up now at 6. I'm sorry, I've done that before. But we meet at 8 o'clock. And then we have Sunday school at 9. Then we have our second service at 10. Sunday night is 6 o'clock. And then Wednesday night is 7. May God bless you. Come and be a part of that.